The house was built in 27. Well, they call them um, revivals. We were living across the street and uh, looking for a home to purchase. And uh, we, we've been looking out, this, out the window at this house for a number of months and, uh, and then it came up for sale. But it, the out, outside of it, it was just spectacular in terms of the, just the architecture of it. The history behind the house is it's owned by a medical doctor, Scheidler. And his son, John Scheidler, uh, married Rosemary DeCamp, the actress, and uh, apparently they spent their honeymoon here. They owned it for about 20 years. And then in 1947, there was a Chevrolet dealership in town, and that was purchased by a couple of the Loringers. And um, they lived in here from 47 to the time we purchased it in 2001. And the infrastructure was great in the house, but uh, we did a lot of cosmetic work to it. I say we, because I'm attached to my wife here. But uh, she did a lot of cosmetic work, and she's a designer, interior and, and uh, exterior landscaper as well. well. We've tried to make it convenient, you know, up to date, but not change the feeling. You know, uh, both my husband and I grew up with uh, antiques around us and older homes. We're from Minnesota, and, uh, you know, I've been collecting antiques since we were kids. So, yeah, I wanted to keep it old, an old feeling to it. One of the original um, features, architecture features of the home is the archway going into the dining room and the step up, it's a sunken living room, one step up into the dining room and the room's off the, the living room. And uh, the rolled uh, arch ceilings that are in the dining room and in the living room, um, it's all done with lath and plaster, which is an art that they, they don't use anymore. The wall sconces, uh, there's a, yeah, the archways, the cove ceilings, uh, the plaster work, uh, the wooden floors, you know, I mean, all of those were pretty common in that era. The Probably the most unique thing is the Batchelder fireplace. Some of the tiles around here, they're kind of a Mayan or a kind of an Aztec feel to them. What I love about it so much is the colors, the colors of the tiles that he used, I, I just fell in love with. And um, so I used those colors to enhance the fireplace by using different shades of it in the room. The arched window in the living room, I thought was beautiful in the arch ceilings, of course, and um, even the arch front door. You know, just from the outside, it just had so much appeal. There were two bedrooms side by side and opening um, one of those bedrooms up and making it into a master bath so there would be a master bedroom suite, which is never found in older homes. Um, I think it was a pretty significant thing that we did. Opening up the kitchen was probably the biggest thing that we did. It was three separate rooms and um, to put the archway through from the breakfast nook. So now we have a large kitchen and putting the French doors at the end of the kitchen flowing out into the patio uh, it works really well for entertaining. This whole area, you know, it was cement floor, so we put the flagstone in, and um, this was grass over here with a chain link fence and just kind of a border garden. And um, when the grandkids weren't rolling in the grass, I thought, okay, well, let's do something more fun with it. So we decided to put the stone out there and do the, the patio with the table, and, and then just started planting things around to, you know, uh, so it would fill in and feel just real, real green back here and lots of flowers, I love flowers. The homes here really don't come on the market very often. I mean, people either passes on in a family or, you know, a, a relative somehow. We've had many people come through this tour that are like, I walk by this house every day, you know, and just wanted to get inside or, you know, how did you get this house? And yeah, so people are really, I think if they they own a home here, they really want to keep the, the integrity of the home. We feel real honored to, to have a home like this. I mean, we feel very blessed.